working on a project called Artifacts. I work with a group called Living Room Playmakers in Chicago and we do site-inspired work so we go into a space and try and figure out its possible ghosts and histories and we use that to uh, inspire us to create specific work for that space. So in this case, um, the play Artifacts is a uh, audio tour through a space called Salvage One where there's a lot of really cool different urban artifacts like piles of bathtubs and things that they've stripped from various estates and from various stores that have shut down. So it has all of these little pieces of Chicago there. So we're gonna take people on a tour through that that I'm gonna write and we're gonna record. Um, but they're also going to encounter live theater scenes um, that tell a different story and that shed a different light, hopefully, on the audio tour. I think that my process changes a lot based on the project. We gather so much of our material from from the site itself. Um, in this case, I spent a lot of time at Salvage One. Um, I would go in and usually like take a meeting with their events coordinator, work on planning stuff, and then sit there for a long time using the desks that are supposed to be for sale as my desk, and just be writing down different things that were interesting, like both the objects that I wanted to use and also just sort of exploring the voices of my narrators, um, trying to imagine who would have spent a lot of time in this place. While I've been at Blast Theory, I've been working on a lot of the logistics of moving people around in this space because it has to be timed really precisely to the audio. Um, so I've been working on a lot of maps and then I take those maps and I've been taping off different areas of our, the space here and doing measurements and then walking the space trying to get the audio timed exactly and uh, so that I know that when the actors come in they'll be coming in at the precisely right moment. In grad school at Northwestern I did some work in radio plays so I, uh, I've always been sort of fascinated by telling stories with various limitations such as like writing it for a specific space but um, in this case, the limitation of only being able to use one sense to tell the story, where you have to, you have to get people's attention through sound and um, write your narrative in a really uh, clean and arresting way so that you don't lose their attention. Um, so I was excited to sort of combine those interests, the interest in really exploring a specific site and the interest in um, sort of sound design and um, that version of storytelling.